Hi, welcome to this Arch Linux B system. This video is about OBS Studio. It's not going to be for everyone. Uh, OBS Studio is to stream whatever you do on your desktop to YouTube or other um, providers of, of uh, streaming. So basically it's just for a select people uh, who want to stream your uh, the desktop to the YouTube or other services I'll just show you in a bit. Um, installing OBS Studio, well, there is Yay, there is Tryzen. You use an AOR helper. Although Eric, although Eric, I don't think it's uh, an AOR package. And this is how we know. Community, it says here. So there is indeed an OBS Git, so the latest version, and it is we can't really tell but it seems to be more or less the same version on GitHub or on community. So no, there is no yay needed. If you see this line here, community and not AOR, then you know, then you can install it as well with sudo pacman minus s OBS and then let the rest to itself. The rest, I mean, just don't type everything, press from time to time tap and then it will auto complete. That's what it's called bash out the completion. We're going to install OBS Studio. That's it. Don't need this anymore. It's installed. OBS Studio. There it is streaming. And I'm going to set it up as well in this video. So, okay. Would you like to run the auto configuration wizard? You can also manually configure your settings. Just do it automatically. It's just fine. But let's move it to screen one. Everything is on screen two now. Optimize for streaming recording is secondary. Optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. Okay, so first option. Use current, which is my normal resolution, which is okay. I'm gonna say to him already, I'm gonna work with display once, so the left display, not the right display. Um, why he, why does he have one and two well because of a dual screen and secondly i want to include in the video that's the best tip ever i could give to somebody if you want to do this obs studio want to capture your games or whatever you do on your system then you it's best to have a dual screen so one screen is your obs wizard thing and the other screen is what you're doing what you're recording so that's that Prefer 60 when possible, so that's a good option. Next, streaming services. We have, we don't have a custom streaming server. We have general streaming services. Twitch is there, YouTube, Smash, Mixer, Mixer, Daily Motion, Facebook Live, etc. etc. Show all. Is there even more? Whoa, there are things I really can't pronounce. Let's alone read. So, but that is indeed a lot more. So, I'll just be using YouTube and that's it. What you need to do for YouTube, where are you YouTube? What you need to do is then um, set the primary YouTube ingest server and when following this link, you'll go to your own YouTube channel and you have to copy paste in a specific key. So it's a unique key that you shouldn't share with anybody. And then that's the next. This means I can't do next. I need to go and get me myself the key. So I'm pausing here. I got myself the key, copy paste it in and next we are. So he's going to do some tests. Let him just do the job. He's testing different resolutions and FPS is frame per second. And it has determined that it's going to use this as setting and there is the mistake that I did last time. He says output scaled resolution. He wants to downscale whatever I have. Why would he downscale something from full HD to something that's lower? So that's the mistake I had last time. So not this time, my friend. What you need to do is go inside settings and go fix this video. And then we go up here to output scaled resolution. 
Of course, the same resolution as I am recording would be stupid if I did not apply. OK. And let me check some more settings if I can set something more. Like, for instance, there was a setting here. It's dark, it's English, it's fine. Confirmation dialog, etc. I don't want to know that. But this one is an interesting one. Automatically record when streaming. So when you press one button here, start screaming, start recording, they both, you're actually pressing both of the buttons and you're actually streaming and recording. Um, don't think I've changed anything in the past here. Let me pause and check it. Here is something I'm gonna change in output. Generate a file name without space. So always better to have no spaces. Pausing again. Last time I've recorded with VLV. MP4 was there and the same message pops up again. Okay. I'm gonna try for MP4 this time just to see if there's any difference or the size is bigger or smaller. Just an experiment. Okay, let's pause again. All right, that was it. I've not changed anything after that. Now we want to tell the system what to record, what, to, um, what the sources are and all that. So scene, this is what we will be using and the wallpaper has just changed. Variety has changed here. Uh, that's a better one more soft for the eyes okay anyway so plus a lot of things you can do we can audio capture audio input audio output color and image we can put here as a beginner as an intro an image intro and then you can click it away and then the show starts video capture is something i'm definitely gonna use right we need to capture whatever is on our screen so okay Oops, video capture is not what I thought it was. It's the webcam. Hi. So, okay, let's use it. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Put it somewhere decent, I don't know, maybe somewhere here. If there's a toolbar down here so I can see stuff. Something there. And then plus. So that's video capture. That's not what I intended. Screen capture is probably the thing I wanted to have. Okay, which is this thing, very strange thing, which is normal because we're filming the same screen. So if I move it over here, then it becomes more normal. But um, okay, that's fine. So curse screen zero is important that I have the left screen. That's okay. Capture cursor. We see my cursor floating around and advanced settings is not necessary. Okay, so that's another thing I have. Let's... Um, you can move it from priority you see it's like uh, photoshop and its layers or gimp and its layers you have you look i call it the god mode right you look from upstairs to downstairs so the first thing you see is the screen capture and then the video capture but the video capture is behind it so up move it up and then you see my face and we move it somewhere here like so we could add an image as an intro image as an intro why not and then i need to find me an image i really don't have an image uh, pictures uh, a screenshot maybe that's this look this is just an image as an example so if people are um, when you start your show you can start with an image and then click it away and the show starts okay show is at an end another image maybe thank you for watching or something and that's it so an image to uh, show you stuff. Now, do I have sound? I see the mic going up here, but am I broadcasting anything? So the input capture is probably what I need. Create new, okay, default. Right, this is the one I use. I'm very happy with it. Sound is good and webcam c920 is what is recording everything so testing 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 
and you see this thing going up and down. So I guess we're ready for the streaming, I think so, for one up. I'm gonna make a nicer um, image here. And that's basically it. I have sound, I have the video capture for my screen, and I have this webcam that I can, oops, delete or undelete. So the video capture, a bit strange the name, but it's actually the webcam, so video capture, that's that. And this is the screen capture, okay, got it. And audio input, no sound anymore. And this is how everything is set up. And we're ready to start scream, uh, streaming, yeah, streaming is better word. All right, signing off here. This is how I set up my OBS Studio.